Are you guys ready for a really cool unboxing? My name's Garrett Hartle here at Reach Out Reptiles. If there's one thing we like to do, it's buy reptiles and get them all the time. But we're limited on cages, so we can't just do that all the time. So the next best thing, what is it? An awesome package from Amanda Sargent. It's for conservation. It's really exciting. I get to look at it every day, and I get to support an awesome person. If you don't know who Amanda Sargent is, you didn't watch that video on Tuesday, so you better go back and find it. All right, let's check it out. Let's see what I got. What's it gonna be? I like this cosmic tape job. That's pretty sweet. I hit Amanda up on her Facebook page about a service that she was offering. And we came to an arrangement. Ooh, look at this. Check it out. Freebie. The Amphibian Foundation. Everybody knows somebody that loves frogs. Oh wow, check out that salamander. I don't even know what these think. Well, that one I know what it is, but I've got some studying to do anyways. That is cool. Thanks for the extra, Amanda. That's awesome. Let's see. Ooh, a letter. That's customer service right there. Oh, it's not a letter, it's a card. You make the world a better place. Thanks again for supporting my efforts to save the animals we love, for being a true animal lover, a great friend, and an awesome influence to so many others in the hobby, and for building such an amazing family of wildlife warriors. You guys give me hope. Your friend, Amanda. Thank you so much, Amanda. That is awesome. That's going on the desk for sure. Okay, now we're down to the nitty gritty. What did I get? A puppy pee pads. Ooh, here it is. Check it out. Guys, this is an original painting painted by a reptile. That is so sick. Steal My Heart by O'Baron the Green Tree Python. Assisted by Amanda Sargent. That is cool. So she actually does these paintings with her reptiles and the money goes towards uh, amphibian conservation, which is incredible. But I actually commissioned a small series of these to be done it for the reptile room here all right you can tell she's got like my logo colors and everything down this is pretty sick black blizzard by O'Baron, the green tree python this green tree python is very talented <laughs> you can t see the belly scutes and everything on here that is really cool i love it obviously every piece is going to be completely unique and original depending on the creativity of the reptile. There's another one. Oh, I like the colors on this one, like that dark gray. Gray Star by Tallulah, the Diamondback Terrapin. <laughs> if you can't have a Diamondback Terrapin, guys, you can at least have a custom painting by one. Check that thing out. Diamondback Terrapins are actually one of my favorite reptiles. So thanks for that one. Oh, look at this one. This one really got a lot of the reptilian imprint see that all those belly scales this should be pretty fun i don't know let's see if we can guess what these are i don't know what do you think can you see all those see those tracks to me it looks like some kind of a rat snake so those are pretty big belly scutes let's see railroad scales by thomas the boa constrictor i was way off <laughs> i like the name though very cool yeah, it just looked very round-bodied to me. You guys can see how terrible I am at this. Maybe I'll guess on each one of these what created it. It would help if I knew what Amanda kept. All right, here I can see the belly scales and some of the side here. That, I'm going to think that this is probably a green tree as well. Look at those side scutes. Oh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Silver Storm, there it is. O'Baron the Green Tree Python. Got one right. <laughs> Pretty cool. Let's see here. They just keep coming. 
it's like Christmas in, what month is it? March. Oh yeah, I love the rotating colors and everything like that. Raptor Rapture by Thomas the Boa Constrictor. <laughs> Very cool. Awesome stuff. I don't know how well it picks up either, but these are original paintings. And it has like a lot of texture to it, which is really going to look cool because I'm actually going to put them up like on the panels of my ceiling going down the, the reptile room man cave. But let's have a look at some of these guys. Look at that. Awesome stuff. I am very excited about these getting these guys all posted up. I'll have to make some uh, some of my pallet wood stuff for some cool frames for these, and then we'll get them up on the ceiling. Oh, here, I'll show you the ceiling right here. There it is. So these guys are gonna go right up there on the ceiling, and I got one for each panel going all the way down. Should be pretty slick. All right, well, I hope you guys are excited, as excited about what Amanda's doing for conservation as I am. Again, check uh, the links for her Facebook thing. You can shoot her a message if you want to grab some of these paintings and help the local amphibians that we have here, too. Uh, oh, Kira's over here doing dishes. Kira, you want to say hi? Hey! <laughs> We're all trying to catch up from the big weekend at Tinley. This room is a mess. It's a disaster. I'm sorry I haven't gotten back onto the regular video upload routine. But I will be back on it really soon, and we're actually getting some new equipment that should make this stuff a lot better for you. So consider this your free tip Friday, guys. Conserve amphibians. It's always a good tip. Um, I hope you guys have a good weekend, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>